Hello, welcome to my house and welcome to my channel. I'm Laura Cepeda and today I'm going to show you how you can make this beautiful show that I make it for a party. So look how pretty it is. Literally, this will be my outfit to go to this important event. It was so easy to make. You will see that it will be so simple You won't, that you won't believe. So... Before we start, I want to invite all of you to subscribe and I will give you the material list. Well, this shawl will be perfect for any size, small, medium or large. This is so simple to make its unique size. I will use 300 grams of a material that is between fine and light and 200 grams of a fantasy yarn. I will show you how it looks and which one I use use it's called lentejuela in spanish and i will use the hook of number 3.5 millimeters so right now i will share all my secrets and tips well we will start this will be a rectangle first i will make you a drawing as base chains we are going to make 150 chains okay in total because I already made it and this is the centimeters, we will have 110 centimeters plus 12 centimeters that will be the rows of the edge that will be all around but not in the neck. In the neck we are only going to make single crochet and 42 centimeters of long without taking into account the rows of the uh, edge okay and we are going to fold it like this here is where we are going to have the uh, place for the armholes if you want you can put bottom or a brooch there and this is where we are going to place our arms and you will see how easy and simple this is i hope that you will enjoy making it with me remember that this is a uni size so it will be perfect you will see how fancy and beautiful you will look so well now that it's clear let's start well so with these two threads with lentejuela and this material that it's between fine and light we are going to crochet together 150 chains okay try to make it a little bit loose well at the end of the 150 chains we are going to make three chains then we will count two, three, the ones that we have just made, and then two more. And then in the six, we are going to insert the hook and make the first double crochet. This double crochet will be out of the three crochet. Again, two chains. And now right here in the top, we are going to make a picot and single crochet. You see, turn over and in the same place, a double crochet out of three crochet, then two chains and a picot. Well, and we are going to continue. We are going to make five double crochet, but only four will have picot. Okay, so the last one, uh, we are going to just make the double crochet. Okay, so we are going to make five double crochet, but only four will have a picot. So let's see how many do I have so far. And well, we won't count this uh, first three chains from the edge. So here we have four. And let's make the fifth double crochet. And then we have four with a picot. You see? One, two, three, and four. Okay, then turn over. One, two, three. And right here in the fourth, we are going to make a double crochet out of three crochet. Then turn over, skip one, two, three, and in the fourth, we are going to start to make a shell like the one we have just made. And like this is how we are going to continue the whole row. Well, look, here I finished the row, and as you could see here at the end, I finished with a double crochet. This will be for the edge. Then we will go up with three chains, then turn over, and we are going to take the first stitch in relief, placing it, the hook in the back. So right there, we are going to make the first double crochet, then two chains, and right in the double crochet of the middle, placing the hook in the back, we will go up with a double crochet, then we are going to make 
two chains and the same place also in relief, placing the hook in the back, we will go up making a double crochet. So here we will have a V, you see, right in the middle of the shell. Then two chains and in the last double crochet of the shell, right there also placing the hook in the back, we will go up and we will make a double crochet. So we are going to have this over each shell that we have in the last row. So in the middle we will make a V. Then turn over and right here where we have this double crochet alone, we are going to place the hook like this. In relief to put in the back. As you could see, I folded a little bit. Then again we are going to place it in the back, make double crochet, two chains and here we are going to make the V. Then two chains and in the same place a double crochet to make the V, then two chains and at the end of the shell a double crochet and like this is how we are going to continue the whole row. So well at the end we are going to finish making a double crochet for the edge, okay, to close the row. Please don't forget about this step. Then we will go up with three chains and right where we have the V at the same distance where we made the first shell, right there again we are going to make the shell. So remember we are going to make five double crochet and only four will have the picot. And like this is how we are going to continue. So we are going to repeat what we made in the first row. Well, and here we have two, then three with a picot, remember, come back, slip one and then single crochet. Okay, so here we have one, two with picot, so here we have, remember that we are going to make five double crochet but only four with a picot. Okay, so, so far we have this, one, two, three, four, and five, then we are going to insert the hook right in where the double crochet by itself is, and we are going to make it in relief too. So this part, either, even if we are in the wrong or in the, or in the right side, we are going to always make this double crochet in relief, okay? So we are going to continue making these two rows that is one series until we get the long of the shawl that we want. Remember that I gave you the centimeters. We are going to have, well, of wide I have 110 centimeters. Remember that I, I told you in the drawing that we made at the beginning. And if you count the shells, I have 15 shells. Okay, and then the centimeters from here to here, from side to side, we have 40 to 41 centimeters, right? Without making and counting the last rows of the edge that we are going to make. Well, as I told you, we are going to make these extra rows for the edge, right? This will be the neck. So we are going to keep here it's simple, maybe a single crochet, but then here in the side and in the bottom and also in the other side we are going to make some extra rows for the edge that I will show you we are going to use a different stitch, but this will be up to you, it's so far in this step, you find it okay and you like it how it is, well you can just leave it like this. So we will start right here in the corner and we are going to use the same material, we are going to continue using these two threads, we will go up with three chains, so we are going to skip this space and in the next space right here we are going to make three double crochet, these three double crochet again will be out of three crochet, take two and three, and we are going to make three inside this space, so this will be one segment, then one, two, three, four, five chains, 
We will skip this space and in the next one we are going to make a double crochet. But this double crochet will be only out of two crochet, the one that we always make, right? Then again, five chains. We will skip, let me see, let me take more turns. We will skip this space and then next to it we are going to make a second segment. Remember that each segment is made out of three double crochet and each double crochet out of three crochet and like this is how we are going to continue the whole row remember that between we are going to make five chains we are going to make this until here because here where our the shells will be different well remember that we stop right here so to turn around we are going to make five chains then the double crochet right here where we have this double crochet then five chains and then we are going to make the segment of three double crochet here next to the double crochet of the middle of the shell so right here we are going to make together these three double crochet I mean this 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 segment then we are going to make five chains and we are going to jump until the next double crochet that it's by itself so like this is how we are going to continue all around remember that here we made the segments inside the spaces but here will be different okay at the end of the row remember that here we will turn around because here on the other side here it's where the neck will be and we are going to make just a single crochet row right there so we'll turn around and we will go up with one, two, three, three chains. And then, sorry, five chains. And then here we are going to transform. Instead of having three double crochet in the segment, we are going to make four. So one in the edge, then two inside. And then one more at the end right there in the edge so as you could see in the middle we are going to make two together so we transform it instead of having three now we have four you see now one two three four and five chains then we are going to jump where the double crochet is and right there we are going to make a single crochet well, and like this is how we are going to continue the whole row, okay? Here for double crochet, five chain, single crochet. Well, I did continue like this all around until the other corner. So, remember to make at the end the, th the double crochet for the edge. Then, now that we are here without going up, we will repeat the row all around, but instead of having four double crochet, we will have five. I did continue the same and I finished the row with five double crochet. Then here we are going to go up with three chains. Then turn over and then next to it we are going to make a double crochet. Then in the stitch next to it right here we are going to make two double crochet together. Here in this row will be will be a bit different because here we are going to make shells. So then we are going to make, let's see, so we are going to have the of the edge and then we transform from two into three, then three chains and then right here again we are going to make double, the one that it's inside, so we are going to make two double crochet right here and then in the last one we are going to make a double crochet. So at the end we will have something like this. Well then one chain and then we will jump until we have this other segment uh, only of double crochet, you see? So we are going to repeat. The one that goes in the edge will be single and the one that goes here will be double. Then we are going to make three chains. One, two and three. And then the one that goes here will be double again. And then the one of the edge will be single. And like this is how we are going to continue all around. Remember that the row that goes in the neck will be uh, alone. So only 
in the sides and in the bottom too. Look how beautiful. Well, for the next row, we are going to make five double crochet inside of the space, then one chain, and again, five double crochet inside of the last space that we made. Remember that between three double crochet and three double crochet for the shell, we made three chains. Well, inside of these three chains, we are going to make five double crochet, then one chain, and five double crochet. And like this is how we are going to continue all around. I will show you how it looks as you could see without making any chain or so right away we will jump until the next shell to repeat this. Remember five double crochet one chain and five double crochet. So well here I finished the row. Look how beautiful it looks. Now we are going to continue with the next row. Turn around and this row will be the last one of the edge. We are going to make one, two and three single crochet. Then two chains and we are going to come back here where we finish the stitch and make a picot. Then three single crochet. Here we have one, two and three and then we will go up with two chains and a picot. Then again, two single crochet, here we have one. So as you could see here, we are going to have two and in the middle of the single crochet, the picot. So again, two, I mean in the second single crochet, a picot, then one, and we will finish with three single crochet the same way like we started. You see, well, so far we will have something like this. Then we will make a single crochet here and then we will jump to the next shell and we are going to repeat the same. So one at the beginning, three single crochet, two and three. Then we will go up as you could see here we have three picots in each shell, you see? And well, now with this we finished. Okay, remember that I told you to leave the, the top by itself. Well, right there we are going to make a single crochet throw and we are going to iron but just the bottom part. Because this part we made some stitches in relief and I think it will lose its magic. So only the bottom we are going to iron using a protection under very soft and gently. Remember, be careful and use some pins to put your shells like I want it to be. And right here on the top we are going to make single crochet row. Please be careful, don't tie too much or skip too much spaces because if not it will lose its shape, so please be careful right there. So now let's see how it looks. Well, so here I have it in the mannequin. Remember here to put some uh, brush or a bottom right there. So if we can draw and make the imaginary sleeve so you can put your arms right here in these holes and you can wear it and you will look so amazing. If not, well only you can put a brush here in, in the top and wear it like a, a scarf or as a shawl like you want. I love the result and I hope that you all enjoy making it with me. Thank you so much for watching until the end of the video. I hope that you all make it. And I know that there are a lot of questions where, from where my material is. Remember that I buy it in Mexico, but if you don't have the opportunity, well, you can buy it in any other place. The most important is the way yarn that you use. But well, before you go, I want to invite all of you to subscribe. Remember that it's completely free. Don't forget to share this video if you like it and to follow me in all my social media. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for coming videos. Take care. Bye bye. See you.